Hey, what's going on guys? Evan from Model 3D and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D printable keyring from a simple vector file. So we're over here at my computer. Um, you can need three programs to be able to do this. You're going to need um, Adobe Illustrator or something to be able to uh, edit vectors. Um, there's probably online ones. There's probably kind of free versions. It doesn't need to be stupidly complicated. You just need to be able to basically edit vectors and save them as um, SVG files. So here is my um, little logo. As you can see, this is just a vector made up of little shapes, um, circles, squares, you mean. Really simple. Um, this is my YouTube logo. And yeah, so all you need is that. Um, you need something for it to sit on, especially for this, because it's obviously got parts here, like the 3 and the D, that um, don't have anything connecting them, so if you printed that on its own, they would just fall out. I suppose it's the same concept as a stencil. Um, and I've put two, like a little circle here, and a circle throughout the little cutout of this bit. Um, and that'll be where the keyring goes when it lays up. So to do that, it's just basically a simple case of making a circle, and then using the pathfinder and the uh, minus front just to remove that. But that's in Illustrator. Obviously, do as you will in whatever program you're using. So. I just want to basically join these two together so that grey part will be the back piece and then this um, black part will be the the extruded part on top I guess um, and then that will give the depth of the keyring so yeah so basically it doesn't really matter what kind of size this is in this window because you'll be making new ones anyway and you'll be resizing it before printing anyway so next up I made um, 1.5 inch artboards um, I made two of them, so you've got one for the back and one for the front. Obviously, as you can see here, let me sh da -da -da -da. there we go. Um, you want the back to be larger than the middle or the front part. So um, this one touches all the edges, it comes right up close, whereas this one has like a little border around it just so it sits in the middle rather than being both exactly the same. Um, so yeah, you want to save both of these, um, save as, and you want to save them as SVGs. As you can see here, SVG is compressed as well, but you don't really need that. It's just the SVG file. So you want, I've just gone both on my desktop anyway, so I don't need to save them. So next up, we're going to go to Tinkercad. This is a free browser-based kind of um, 3D modeling program. It's really simple. It's really easy to use, and there's tons of tutorials out there if you need to do anything. I mean, it's basically everything you need to know here. And yeah, so for today's video, we're going to be using this. So basically, you want to import your both files. We'll start with the bottom first, as you can see, keying bottom. Open it up, and we want this to be about 2.5 millimeters. So as you can see over here on the right, you've got 100% scale, and you've got your height in millimeters. So we'll import that. And there it is. Really easily done, straight away 3D model from an SVG file. Couldn't be any simpler. And next, we're going to choose the top. And we want this to be, um, obviously, higher than the bottom part but then we don't want it to be double the thickness so I'm going to do this as a 1.3 so then that makes it uh, 3.8 millimeters tall when it's added to the other one so we'll import that as well and as you can see it's gone underneath so for to, to, to uh, rectify this we get the ruler just put the ruler anywhere it doesn't really matter uh, make sure we've clicked on that and here this little kind of um, number here this will tell you exactly how um, high it is in, in the axis depth so basically we know that this one here the bottom plate is 2.5 mil because we just set it as that so we will just put 2.5 mil and it'll sit directly on top and then we can just drag it over and line it up so it's just as simple as that there's your keyring um, as you can see both holes line up and that's where the keyring will go and it looks great. One problem now though is that this still moves around. It's still two separate parts. So we want to select it all. We want to go up to the top right here and click a group. And now it's all one part. Um, so now that it's done we want to resize it. Uh, I already know kind of what size I want this to be so I, I'm going to change my grid settings from millimeters to inches. Um, update and then you can see down here that it's 4.252 inches wide. So I'm going to change that to 1.5, click enter, and change the height to 1.5 as well, click enter, and there we go. There's your keyring. You can get rid of the ruler now. Keyring looks awesome. 
and it's ready to print. Simple as that. So to print, you click on Design, um, Download for 3D Printing. You want to download as an STL, obviously OBJ if you want to edit things and all this kind of different stuff. So I'll, I'll choose an S, uh, STL for this. Just want to click it once. It The thing I like about Tinkercad is it has really cool different names. It automatically names your stuff so that obviously every file is different I guess. So once I click that it will open up in Cura which is my um, primary slicer. And there it is on my bed. This is my print bed for my one head duplicator i3. And yeah as you can see there it's ready to print. There's the what it's going to print like. Um, for the settings I've got it at a 0.2mm layer height because obviously I don't need to be, it to be uh, really really clean. Obviously if the lettering doesn't come out as nice as it could do I could probably drop that down but yeah I probably to get the absolute best out of this of something so small I probably need like a 0.2mm um, nozzle just to get like perfectly crisp letters but it should be pretty damn good at um, on a 0.4mm nozzle which I've got. So shell thickness is 0.8. I've got now a 10% infill because obviously it doesn't. It's going to be strong anyway. It's going to be PLA and it's going to be in my pocket, so it doesn't need to be absolutely solid because it's just a waste of material, really. Um, so as you can see on the layer height, you've got um, the infill here, so it's it's going to be pretty sturdy. Um, I'm printing about a 30 mil a second print speed. I'm printing at 210. I'm using the um, XL fill PLA by Voltivo. Um, I've got the bed temperature about 70 with my Flex 3D build plate on. No support needed, no um, adhesion. You, you'll you have a little layer here, as you can see. Yeah, you'll just put the layer outside just to be able to get the flow rate of the filament going. And it should print pretty damn well. So this is printed in 1.75mm um, filament and 100% flow rate. So let's save this to SD card and let's get this printed. And there it is. It came out absolutely wonderful. Uh, this was actually the second attempt. Here is the first attempt and I'll put a close up photo on screen now. But it didn't turn out too great. Um, I had a bit of pillowing around the inside. Um, that was due to it being a 10% infill. So it was trying to bridge like such a large gap that it didn't really work out. So I changed that to 25% and it came out lovely. I also changed it from a 0.1, um, 0.2 mil layer height, which this one was, to a 0.1 just to give it that extra detail. Like I said in the last part, it would have come out better if I had a 0.2mm nozzle rather than 04 But it turned out absolutely amazing anyway. Um, I painted the top part white, just so obviously you can see it, but there is a uh, way in Simplify 3D, which is a slicer, um, where you can use it to obviously stop at different levels and change the filament to different colours and carry on printing all that kind of stuff. But first of all, I haven't got Simplify 3D. Second of all, I would take a while and be kind of messing around and all that kind of stuff and yeah turned out really nice and I'm, I'm happy with it so yeah this was printed in the Voltivo XL Fill PLA the um, deep purple and it turned out wonderful so I hope you liked the video please make sure to click the like button if you did uh, maybe the dislike button if you didn't kind of shows me what content is like on my channel make sure to leave me a comment down below maybe use this technique for yourself tell me how it came out um, and most of all um, click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already we are nearly 350 subscribers now, which is awesome. Big giveaway coming up 500, so that should be fun. And I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time.